Hello my crafty gypsies, this is Marianne and today I have a um, project chair. It's um, it's a project for a swap. Um, I'm running so behind on this and this is why I decided not to join um, swaps in groups or anything because my time is so like crazy. Like I barely find time for um, crafting anymore. And, uh, well, with my health issues going on and the weather, I mean, finally the weather is giving us a break. Um, it's a lot warmer than it was before, so that helps. So I'm feeling much better. And I have to thank you, uh, all of you, I have to thank all of you that uh, sent me messages, um, you know, to cheer me up. And, uh, and, and that was very nice. I That's, that's why I'm doing this, because um, I know... A lot of you that struggle with the same um, health issues and you find your therapy through crafting and that's why I decided to start crafting. Um, right now, like I said, the weather is getting better so my uh, my energy is getting a little higher so I'm more excited to sit down and do things and we have more light day and um, it's less cold and all that good stuff. Anyway. That's enough of me just talking. <clears throat> Excuse me. I joined a swap last month for a semi chunky charm bottle caps. Two bottle caps. Okay, the, the, the swap was for a semi chunky charm, two bottle caps with dangles, and a pretty Valentine or you know, it was supposed to be Valentine's. Of course, I'm so f late. <laughs> um, the packaging for it. It should be like a nice, cute packaging. Uh, my partner, uh, I ask her what colors she likes, if she has any particular uh, preference. And she says she likes shabby. She likes, you know, reds and blacks. And she, she pretty much likes everything. She said... She don't want to put limits just to create something that that I think she would like. So that's what I did. I have to make a lot of emphasis on the semi chunky part of the charm because you guys know that I try. I, I mean, I usually go a little overboard with the chunkiness of my charms, but <laughs> I think I did good this time. So let me show you my um, theme for the for the charm and. Uh, Bottle caps was like shabby. I I used like pinks and blues, and um, I really really like it. I, and uh, this is what I came out with. <clears throat> this is one of the bottle caps. I used this bottle cap. Um, I think I got it at Tuesday morning, and I. What's the brand of it? I did this bottle cap something, it's the brand of it. I think I have a packaging. So what I did, they're coming silver, so I painted it. Um, I think this one is a poodle skirt. Uh, it's just acrylic, um, regular acrylic paint. And I distress it with a little bit of a stain around. And then I used these beautiful images from the first edition uh, paper pads that I got from Art Attack. Um, I got... Then I put this little uh, rhinestone chain hanging. Uh, these ones are glass beads. That I love working with glass beads. Some bottle caps and spacers. And I tie a little bit of a seam binding on the top. And I put a lobster clasp on it. Lighting is very bad today. I, I apologize for that. Okay, so this is my first bottle cap. Then... Uh, we're supposed to do two bottle caps. This is the second one. It's a little bit, you know, the bottle cap is different. I think this is the paper studio one. Um, same thing. I gesso it and then paint it and then distress a little bit um, with a little bit of a distress inks. The image is as well from the uh, first edition uh, paper pads. 
I cut the image and then I distress the edges. I use the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic and I sprinkled a little bit of glitter um, on it so it looks a little shiny as you can see. And what I've noticed is that once I have my image down and I add the um, the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, the the ink that I used to distress the image around, it, it bleed a little bit. But I mean it, it's a cool effect. It looks like like it's rusty in the inside. I really liked it. Otherwise I would have just redone the whole thing. And then this one as well has a little chain, like a little rhinestone chain. And some more glass beads. This one's are in shades like very light pink shades and the big caps and this one have like little roses inside and as well I put a little bit of seam binding on the top and a lobster clasp. So this is the second bottle cap. Now I wanted to do an extra one and this is what I went for. I put three of them together and this time I used the Oh, I think it's Martha Stewart. Let me think of the color. Sea glass? Something like that. Same thing, I gesso it. This is this, the bottle cap that I found at uh, Tuesday morning. This one's our paper studio. Same thing, cut the images, distress the images. Uh, Mud Posh Dimensional Magic. Images from the first edition paper pads that I got from Art Attack. Uh, then this one have the rhinestone chain. I love these little chains. I think they're just add a little touch to them. And then this one have once again glass beads. And they're like like lighter shades of blue and I had a pink one. And I absolutely love this color. It's so pretty. So I had a third one. So now, the charm, the rules for the charm was to have, they need to be at least three inches long, to have at least two charms, and a bobble. A bobble meaning like a center piece to it. So, this is my charm. It is so hard to record these charms. Let me see if I can just, there you go. My desk is a hot mess right now, so this is my charm. I tried to not go so chunky, but I guess that's not, it's not a possibility for me. I have to go chunky. So for this one, I use a lobster clasp that I found at Hobby Lobby. And uh, it's the ones that have their heart. I think that was very appropriate for the um, Valentine Valentine's theme. <laughs> I add some lace on the top and then I have three chains. First one is this rhinestone chain which I, I said before I love these ones. Then this will be my main focus so this is a, um, a charm that I made, a dangle that I made, I don't know how you call it, a bobble. This is how Miss Tiffany is calling them, a bobbles. I add a thicker chaining here and I just put some lace through it and I think that adds a pretty touch in my wing. I always add wings on my projects. Then <clears throat> this is the third chain. This one has some little butterflies. Everything is glass. This is one of the charms. It's like a princess carriage and it's so cute because this one's actually turned like the wheels turn. <laughs> then once again the colors light blue and pink. Uh, they're all glass, glass beads. I add a little angel holding a heart. This will be like the second charm. Uh, and this one has a little flowery spacer, pearls, I add a star, 
And then this is a piece of lace that I just put through a um, head pin. And it has another glass beads over here. This is Jesse Jane beads. Uh, Jesse James bead. Another charm. I don't know why, but I love these spoons. And I just add one in here. <laughs> another one, pink and blue. Some rondelles. And this one. This one is like it's like a, it's not ceramic glass I'm not sure but it's very pretty uh, this is the last one then I add this little charming here this is that was handmade and this is my charms and my bottle caps now I was breaking my head for the packaging um, I've said this so many times I am not very good at paper making stuff with paper so I try to um, alter a box and it didn't come the way I was I, I had it on my head you know like it just didn't look right I'm not gonna send out anything that I won't like myself so I put it down and I kept thinking and thinking and thinking okay something that I would love to do that I would love to have and I know I, I can make a pretty one so I alter a jar, a glass jar for her. So what I did was I had a jar. These ones are from Hobby Lobby. And I made a pretty shabby flower. This flower center is from Hobby Lobby as well. This lightning is not helping me at all. Uh, I put some lace around. Uh, little pearl sprays this is some cheesecloth and I added a little a little um, corrugated paper heart I got this one at Michael's some pearls I tie some seam binding around the lid and the lid was clear but what I did was the same material that I used for the background of the flower I just cut an extra piece and put it inside so she can leave it like that or she can take it out and use it for I don't know make a flower or a bow or whatever she wants to use but I think it added a little something to the top and I liked it um, so my plans is to wrap the charm and the bottle caps individually and then put them inside the jar and uh, and then afterwards she can use the jar for some storage or she can do whatever she wants with it so this is my pretty packaging <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's the plan for it so I thank you very much for watching and let me know what you think about my uh, my projects comment below um, and I, I'm trying to catch up with all the stuff that I have just sitting around so today might be one more one that I mean I'm sorry I cannot talk it will be more than one video today, sorry. Um, but this is the first one. So I hope she likes it. I hope you guys like it. And like I said, let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.